what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl crystal and i'm back again with another video if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of my family and if you guys want to um like know how to increase your milk supply by a lot keep on I'll take care of you. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into this video, but if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of the family. I do say that every video. Also, if you're not following my social media, I'll put it on the screen and also down in the description box so you guys can keep up with me. So today I'm going to be giving you guys five tips on what I do to um, like boost my milk supply. Um, I know for sure that I did not need these, but I was going like I was going through a rough time, postpartum and everything was hitting me different. So I kind of stopped pumping, and now I begin pumping back. So these are what I use to boost my milk supply because I did like my milk supply was it went really really low my milk supply went really low so that way so I just started doing like a lot of stuff to make sure that I could get my milk supply back up so the first tip is always drink water and I know like a lot of people say this, um, a lot of people say this, and I'm going to show you guys my cup that I get my water. Okay. So, um, this is actually my cup that I drink my water. I try to go through these, like at least four of these for the day. This is 48 ounce cup. So it's pretty large. Okay. Now, the cup that they gave me in the hospital, I have some Kool-Aid in it, but I'm gonna show you guys the difference. So, the difference between these cups. This is the one that they gave me in the hospital. Um, and this is the one that I bought from Walmart um, to use. If you guys wanna use this, that's fine. When I was using this, I was going through like six, seven cups a day because I drink a lot of water. And like, it, I feel like it wasn't full enough for me to just like drink four um, cups. But this one, definitely. This one, I just go through four of these for the day or more. It depends on how I'm feeding, be, feeling because I do plan on breastfeeding for as long as I can. Um, but if I can't, then that's okay. At least I still get the experience of breastfeeding. But this cup right here, I use this cup to breast um, to keep keep hydrated and stuff. So that's number one tip on trying to build your milk supply. You want to drink as much water as possible. So you can download the My Fitness app or one of those app, and that app will specifically tell you like if you put in your body, your weight, and all of that stuff. It will tell you how much um, water you're supposed to be drinking a day, or you could download any water app. Just go on um, your app store or Google Play Store, whatever you want to go on, and download a water um, tracking app. I use the avocado one. I think that's what what it's called i'll put it on the screen but excuse me that's the one that i use because um they all give you a reminder but you have some of them that like if you are so into planting and stuff like that and you could definitely download certain ones that like you get to plant and if you don't drink water then your plant will die but if you drink enough water then your plant will grow and they have a lot of those on um the app store that you can definitely use now i feel like the avocado one that i use is pretty good so i'll leave a link in the description box and also i'll put a picture on the screen of how it looks just in case you guys feel like you want to download that app second thing is your prenatals and a lot of you guys probably don't even know this but your prenatals 
you can keep taking these and boost your milk supply just by taking your prenatals. I take the Ollie ones. This is how they look, it's almost gone, but I think this is my third one since my pregnancy. Cause I take one in the morning and one at night. I know you're supposed to just take one. Um, my doctor said that it was okay. So, I mean, that's fine by me. But this is how it looks. They're just like, you know, like a, just a tiny, mm, it's a good size, but it comes in different flavor that you guys could take. Now, if you're like me and you just cannot take the pill ones that they give you for nothing, take the gummies. This one cost me 20 bucks um, in Target. Um, in Walmart, they were like actually $18, $19, but unfortunately Walmart was out. So my only option was Target, which I'm not going back. <laughs> okay, so this one, this is the one that I use. I love this one. Um, it's the Essential Prenatal um, Folic Acid Plus DHA with a daily multi-blend for mommy and baby. And I'm telling you, like it has a lot of ingredients um, that is good for your baby, um, for you and your baby. It's really good. Um, it says take day, take take on the daily no food or water is necessary so you can just pop one of these babies in your mouth to be honest i use these um if you guys know if you guys been a part of my channel for a while then you would know that i like during my pregnancy i was sick okay there was nothing that i could do to feel better but i normally just take this for when i take this when i'm feeling nauseous and whatever this usually works um just to help me with that nausea i hate it feeling nauseous so i pop one of these bad boys in my mouth and i was gone you know what i'm saying like it was good my third one supplements if you if you're um if your milk just after trying the water the prenatal um if your milk decide that it just don't want to be bothered by you like it just don't want to come out as how you want it to um and so forth supplements is good um, I take the Pump Princess. This is the Legendary Milk Pump Princess. And this is what it looks like. They give you um, 60 capsules in this. Um, and it's only good, it's on, not good, but it's only um, a 10 day supply milk. Uh, if you guys, if it works for you and you feel like it was, it worked perfectly fine, If, it, if you guys feel like it worked perfectly fine for you, then you can keep taking it. I stopped taking this because I took, I took it for three days and my milk was flowing as if it was nothing. Okay, I keep having to refill, refill bottles. I keep having to um, pump every second, like literally every second my boobs was sore, okay? So you could take supplements. Just, just look for the one that's good for you, okay? And um, I know another supplement that's good is Funnel Creek, but a lot of people said that it doesn't work good for them. Um, I've never, I've personally never tried Funnel Creek, so I don't want to say, oh yeah, take it, it's good for you, and then you end up having some type of reaction to it, you know what I'm saying? So. There's a lot of um, stuff you can research on Funnel Creek. The main one that I was researching is about how your milk was taste or smell or something like that. And that's a, that alone threw me off. So I was just like, uh, no. So this one is actually $21 in Target. This is um, $21, in, $20 in Target. It's not that bad, um, especially if you're tr definitely um, trying to boost your milk supply and it's just not working i take this and i took the mother's milk here i'll show you guys give me one okay so 
this is the mother's milk um it looks like this and these work wonders wonders um i'm almost out i only have three packs left but they cut they have just this little um little packet you know it's not too it's not that big but it does the job i only have three left in there so you definitely know it's good um it says promote healthy lactation or get original with fennel and funnel creek so that's what i'm saying a lot of people might not do good with funnel creek but if funnel creek works for you these are some good stuff these they work for me another thing as as supplements i take the lactation cookie bites and this is from walmart this is the milk maker uh, munchkin milk maker lactation cookies um and these are the oatmeal chocolate chip um cookies these taste so good it's not even funny they taste super 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 good okay i'm not even gonna lie to you they taste really really good um so you could definitely try these it says to like you will eat one serving um this might it might not work for everybody don't get me wrong these are just stuff that works for me and stuff that i like to use whenever my milk is getting ditched um another thing that i use is this little thing that you can get from walmart they're like little beads or whatever they're like little beads that you just put around your um you put around your boob and this little circular part goes around your nipple to help bring down that um milk now you can freeze these you can microwave these whatever you want to do you could do it with these things um they works for me they might not work for you once again if these doesn't work you just go in the shower and make the stand in front of the shower while the shower is spraying you let it spray on your chest and you just massage massage that if you especially if you feel lumps in your boob you just massage that lump and all your milk will start coming out okay that brings me to my fourth one even though it's water it's the v8 cocoa they have coconut melon um one they have coconut one they have a lot of um waters i'm gonna put a picture these are freaking great these are so good when i tell you they work you just need to drink one this and body armor these two things right here they are they work phenomenously okay they work great if you don't want to take the pills if you're just not a fan of water these are some great when I tell you, these are some amazing um, sub, um, substitution for the pills and stuff if you don't want to take the pills. And if you just can't get water down your system for some reason, these things, they work wonders. And I'm telling you, I literally just drank one body armor for one full day. And I'm telling you, I'm pumping. I'm pumping. When I tell you I am pumping, there's milk, like literally a lot of milk. Okay, a lot of milk. The um, the thing about these is coconut water is really, really hydrating. So it's really good because basically your milk is more like water, is on more on the water side. That's the reason why we call these liquid go. Liquid go because they're, you know what I'm saying? They are liquid go, <laughs> you feel me? So yeah, but um, these are really great and they taste good so it's not like you're gonna say oh they're nasty and whatever whatever they're really good to me once again um so yeah brings me to my last and final stage your milk is based on ask you shall receive type of basis if you're not pumping your boob is gonna automatically just, especially with me, like my baby's in the NICU. If if my if I'm not pumping and I'm not breastfeeding, right? 
my boob is just my body is telling um i'm just telling my body that i don't need the milk you don't need it it's okay whatever so if you're not requesting then they can't give you know what i'm saying they can't give because you're not requesting what you can do is power pump cluster pumping and i'll put a little screenshot of what these are um power pumping cluster pumping your midnight pumping a lot of people forget about that midnight pumping because they can't wake up to pump they feel like oh no i can't do this i felt like that the first week out of the hospital i ain't gonna lie i felt just like that i was just like no i don't want to be bothered by no milk like ugh, whatever you know what i'm saying so the moment that i noticed that i just like oh snap i gotta get back on track like okay you're cluster pumping you want to pump at least do one cluster pump a day i do it twice a day one in the morning and one at night when i'm going to bed so you could do two you could do one just make sure you put that in your routine cluster pumping you can put that in your routine as well but another thing that you you can do is um create a pumping schedule if you're pumping every three hours and you're like man i'm not making enough milk as i want pump every two hours okay my hands are actually look at this oh but yeah if you're pumping every three hours and you notice that your milk is just not coming pump every two hours okay thank me later just pump every two hours and in in those every two hours that you pump a day you just um make sure you add a cluster pump or a um cluster pump or a the other one whatever i lost my chain of thought but yeah those are what work for me there's a lot of supplements on Amazon. There's a lot, if you're impatient like me and you just cannot wait for Amazon for those little two days, go to Target, go to Walmart. They have it. These things work wonders. Your um, prenatals, if you're prenatal, if you're like, I can't take prenatals, um, if you're a doc, just ask your doctor. And I am not a lactation or anything, so don't ask me because, may I mean, you can ask me, but I'll tell you mainly what I have, like what's been working for me. But that's about it. I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, um, that won't work or this will work or whatever. And then it doesn't work for you, if that makes sense. So always, if, when you go to your doctor's appointment, always ask questions. I ask a lot of questions, trust me. Always ask questions because they might be able to answer your questions for you. I can't answer your questions, you know what I'm saying? Because the simple fact that I don't know. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like sharing what works for me. So yeah, ask questions when you go to your doctor. And if you need more help, if, if you tried all of these and none of these work for you, just, all you have to do is just ask your lactation or you could go to the hospital that you deliver at and let them know like, hey, I need some help. My um, my milk is just gone. You know what I'm saying? So I left from when I was in the hospital, I was pumping a lot. And then when I came out, I started pumping less, 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 less until I went down. And then I just burn myself back up. So if somebody tell you that you cannot, um, it, that you you can't come back from this if your milk drains out, that's a lie. That is a lie. Okay. That is a lie, and that person needs to get a. That's a lie. So that is it. Um, that's all that works. For, that I have tried so far. So if you guys tried anything and it works for you, let me know in the comment box down below and I'll be happy to try it out for you guys and give you my thoughts and everything on that. Um, but that is it for this video. Um, a little update on Kenzo. He is doing marvelous, guys. He is now four pounds, two ounces and his birth weight was two pounds, five ounces. And then he lost weight the next day after birth. So he went all the way down to one pound, one ounce so he's back up he's healthy he's great he's doing amazing um so yeah we'll just see how it goes from here 
no issues still so yeah but that is it for this video guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the description box description box in the comment box down below what other kind of videos you guys would like to see and i'll be happy to film those for you without further ado i'll see you guys in my next video